Intermittent fasting is one of the most popular diets today, and it's followed by athletes, CEOs, and YouTube fitness celebrities as well. But is it really as effective as its proponents say it is, or is it just another overhyped diet? To find out, we have to take a look at the science behind intermittent fasting. First, what exactly is intermittent fasting? Well, intermittent fasting is a diet that's based around restricting your eating time instead of restricting your food intake. Therefore, it isn't really a diet at all, but more of an eating pattern. The most important method, the most popular method of intermittent fasting is called the 16-8 method. It involves skipping breakfast and eating lunch and dinner instead. For example, if you eat lunch at 1 p.m. and dinner at 7 p.m., you've just created an 18-hour fasting window between the two meals. Other methods include the 5-2 method, which recommends fasting for two days a week, and then eating an eat-stop type of diet, which calls for one to two fasting days per week, where you stop eating from one meal until the same meal the next day. For example, you would eat lunch on Friday and then fast until lunch on Saturday. This gives you the benefits of a 24-hour fast, while still being able to eat every single day. The most commonly associated advantages with intermittent fasting type diets is that it's easier to lose fat for some people with that type of diet plan. Also, you can retain muscle easier and it's easier to stick with it compared to other more commonly used diet plans. While there are also a host of other benefits like cancer prevention and cancer treatment, increased lifespan, preventing certain neurological diseases like Alzheimer's disease, lowering the risk of type 2 diabetes, and much, much more, we're only going to focus on intermittent fasting as it relates to losing fat and building muscle for this video. From an uninformed standpoint, intermittent fasting may resemble a simple caloric restriction diet. After all, it's just like just skipping breakfast, right? However, fasting does have additional benefits compared to other diets. Besides the natural reduction in caloric intake due to fewer meals, Fasting also results in a progressive increase in mean growth hormone pulse frequency and pulse amplitude. What that basically means is that levels of growth hormone in your blood can reach as high as five times the normal numbers without the adverse effects that come with taking the synthesized version like steroids and stuff like that. Fasting also decreases insulin levels, which leads to the body burning more body fat for fuel, something that is very highly desirable for people who are looking to lose weight, right? Considering that our body fat evolved mainly for surviving through periods of famine, it would make sense for the body to try and burn it to preserve as much hard-earned muscle as possible. In addition, periods of fasting alter the function of some hormones in our body. It increases the release of a hormone called norepinephrine or noradrenaline, which is responsible for two relevant things. In brown adipose tissue, it creates an increase in calories burnt to generate body heat, and in adipose tissue, more commonly known as fat cells, it causes an increase in lipolysis, which is conversion of fat to substances that can be used directly as energy sources by muscles and other cells in the body. Combined with decreased insulin and increased growth hormone, fasting actually increases your metabolic rate by 3.6 all the way up to 14% in the short term. In essence, this is why intermittent fasting works so well. It approaches the problem of fat loss from two directions, by both reducing calories and at the same time increasing energy expenditure. Then what about muscle mass? Won't I lose some muscle mass because of fasting? Many people believe that fasting for a period of time will cause them to lose muscle, but studies have shown that muscle loss is comparable with diets based solely on caloric restriction and that fasting causes no adverse effects. If you combine your diet with resistance training, you should have no fear of losing too much muscle mass, at least no more than a regular type of diet plan. Another common fear is that the body will go into a starvation mode and start storing more calories as fat. However, that doesn't occur until after 60 hours of fasting, much longer than any protocol mentioned here in this video. And even then, by a mere 8% reduction in your metabolism, so it's not a huge reduction. And now comes the final question. Is intermittent fasting any better for sustained long-term fat loss compared with other studies? The science on this is still inconclusive. Some studies show that intermittent fasting is far better, and some show that it just plain isn't. In the end, it all depends on you. You're going to have to try it out for yourself and see if it works better for you. Let us know in the comments below if you've tried intermittent fasting and if you've gotten the kind of results that you hoped for. 
Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also visit my website, gravitytransformation.com, where we have done for you diet and workout plans that are proven to work. I'll see you guys soon. Pump it.